Can Apple succeed in the AAA gaming market? Over the last couple of years, Apple has tipped its toe into the AAA gaming space and the first major announcement was last year at the iPhone 15 event where they announced Resident Evil 8 and Death Stranding coming to the iOS app stores. However, there are reports stating that Apple's attempt to get into the AAA gaming space and compete with Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft is not going the way they hoped. The reason for Apple's failure to break into AAA gaming has some obvious reasons and not so obvious reasons. The first reason is because of the hardware. Let's face it, everyone who's using an iPhone or an iPad or a MacBook, they're using it for something other than AAA gaming. These devices are primarily used for social media. In the case of the Mac, maybe video editing, app development. There's a whole bunch of other uses you get from these devices that you really don't think about playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on your iPhone. In addition, gamers who own an iPhone or an iPad or a Mac, chances are they probably have a Windows PC that they can use for gaming or they are a console player. These devices are typically more powerful in the gaming space than your iPhone or your MacBook, even with iOS 18's game mode. Another reason why Apple is struggling is because they don't have any exclusive AAA gaming content. When you look at the console space, you know that there are games that are first party titles. For example, the Horizon series is a PlayStation exclusive franchise. You can get Death Stranding on PlayStation, you can possibly get it on PC. For Assassin's Creed, you can get it on pretty much any platform. So it really makes it hard for gamers to look at Apple and say, yes, I want to play the new Assassin's Creed Shadows on my iPhone. Apple also has to compete with the likes of Sony and Nintendo, and that is not an easy task to do. These companies are primarily gaming first, so they know exactly what to focus on in terms of their products, as opposed to Apple, which is more of a luxury brand, let's be honest. And their focus is mostly on creatives. Anyone who's been following the AAA gaming space know that the budgets for these games are out of control. Some of these games cost as much as Marvel movies. And when you are spending that amount of money, you definitely want to get your product into as many hands as possible. And quite frankly, the iPhone is not a huge market, not compared to the people who would buy a Nintendo Switch. And when your audience is that small, you definitely want to get a huge return on your investment. And quite frankly, the Apple ecosystem is not a good investment. There's also the negative stigma attached to iPhone gaming. With a lot of games on the App Store being free to play, it it definitely puts a sour taste in gamers' mouths. This is not as bad of an issue on the AAA gaming console and PC side of things. Apple would have to do a whole lot in order to change the perception of iPhone gaming. There are going to be people who are bullish on Apple's AAA gaming attempt because they see the loyalty of the Apple fan base and quite frankly the resources Apple has. But what these people are not considering is that the majority of users, they tend to gravitate towards mobile games because they're not as complicated. These issues combined with the added costs for developers to re-engineer your games for a touch-friendly device leads me to believe that Apple is going to fail at breaking into AAA gaming. Why use your iPhone when you can buy a console and you can get a nice monitor and it will be less than the cost of a pro iPhone? So let me know what you think. Do you think Apple's AAA gaming effort is going to be successful? Do you think it's going to be a big flop? Let me know in the comments and thank you all for watching these videos. It really helps out a lot. 
And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.